What's poppin' and welcome back to a brand new episode of 3 Hour Builds, the series where I build as much of an app as possible within 3 hours. Today we're gonna be building a sneakers app and without further ado, let's turn around and get right into it. Okay, so here we are with the standard Flutter boiler template. What we're gonna be doing is building some kind of sneaker app where you can either view all of your sneakers or purchase them, add them to the cart, wherever obviously won't, we won't really have time to add any purchase functionality in 3 hours but add as much of it as we can to this app. So it's gonna be like an overview of your sneakers, maybe you can add it to your cart, maybe you can see some info about them, pick your size, etc. and make it look as aesthetic as possible. But without further ado, let's get coding, and I'm gonna go over to my browser, and I'm gonna hit start on this three hour timer, which will notify me within three hours when I have hit the time. Let's see how much we can get done. Let's go. At the beginning, I also spent way too much time designing. I have three hours to build this, and I probably spent an hour just designing the fundamental part of the app. And of course, you have to do some of this, but then I spent way too much time designing the shoes. For example, I had to take a PNG image of every shoe, remove the background, format it correctly so that I could put it in the uh, part of the app. But in the beginning, it was just the standard stuff. You know, you build the header, the app bar kind of thing, which every app has, and you build the bottom navigation bar, which this app didn't have, but that's the normal speed. After that, I just moved on to making one of these containers. I always start up with like a color just to be able to visualize what it's gonna look like on the page then spend time finding like a good font etc because that matters quite a lot for an app like this and I think I found a pretty good one that kind of has a streetwear stylish style to it I was quite happy with it and then after this I started making a gradient because gradients make everything better if you think about it every single thing when you add a gradient just looks so much more cool so much more fresh and especially when you have these nice shoes in the foreground so I thought that looked pretty cool and then I started adding these shoe PNG images to the background itself in order to visualize it better and get kind of like a matchy matchy feel with the still the color of the shoes to whatever gradient I had in the background. And it turned out that I had this horizontal list view at the top of a vertical list view which looked pretty damn good I thought. Again, I think the proportions are a little bit off but in the time that I have this is the best that I could do and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Okay, so we are about two hours left and what I've done so far is really just design So I haven't really made that much progress But where we're at this beginning is we have this nice or not really nice yet It will be nice though, but we have some nice pictures that we're gonna put there, but we have some nice uh, uh, List view builders here that we're gonna put the shoes inside and maybe we're gonna warp them a little bit and make it look a little bit cool But that's where we're at. And I think we're gonna try to make it like so it overflows a little bit for example we shall see how that works in the end. But uh, yeah, two hours in, not a lot of progress, so I need to speed things up now. Down Let's go. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel. Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills. Yeah, she be riding on that thing like a Ferris wheel. Yeah, I love them dark skin, brown skin, caramel. You know I had to bring it to the hood like she carrying silver when she keep on turning her head. Cause when she woke that thing, jiggle. jiggle. And we going back to back on them like we here, we and we rally. This that back in my back flow, we back again so highly. This that back. All right, so we have around an hour and 43 minutes left. What I've done now is, I, I'm not super happy with how this looks yet. It looks a little bit cheap, I think, in my opinion. But what I've built is a list builder that just takes a bunch of pictures of Jordans, and then it just posts these as uh, uh, cards, or like, I guess, stacked widgets, but with cards inside of them, where it has this nice uh, gradient background, which I think I'm gonna change to glass morphism background, anyway. But, and then it has this overlay of the Jordan. And notice the detail here, where it kind of over, overshoots this, this container, which is, I think, quite a cool effect. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, now we're gonna add some more shoes. Like, I think we're gonna add the Air Force Ones, maybe, and then maybe we'll see if we have another pair of shoes. But uh, after that, we're gonna make a shoe page, and then we're gonna make an add to cart function, and let's see if we have time within the hour and 43 minutes that we have left. Just step back in my back, flow, we back to change the climate. Just step back in my back, flow, we bring the force like Tommy. Back in my, back in my back, flow. Back in my, yeah, yeah, back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, yeah, yeah, I'm back in my bag, yeah. I'm back in my, this my, back in my bag flow uh. Back again, yeah we keep on stacking it, what's happening? Everything in Gucci got me feeling like I'm dapper then Life has been a movie, yeah. We have about 1 hour and 13 minutes ago. The progress is relatively slow And I was expecting this app to turn out a little bit better than this But it's okay, like I'm doing this in 3 hours and it's looking okay Especially like these dunks uh, But anyway, what I have now is just 3 different list builders where I have a positioned uh, widgets on top of each other for example I have the text I have the shoe picture I rotate that a little bit etc if you want to you can look in the source code down below 
but I use these three then to make some list builders of these shoes and now we're gonna make a shoe page so if I press one of these shoes we're gonna be directed to a shoe page where I can view the details I can pick a size and I can add it to the basket for example and after that then we're gonna make a basket so I don't have much time left so, so shout out continue. to the cameraman to pull up to the scene is going down like an avalanche steady going up like a travel plan Homer Simpson face lucky power plan yeah I'm off that dope like I'm back again to visit at the Millie's out on club hurts give the word if it's a city love forgive me still have emotion dog so why would I slow it make it rain on them bust a band then you throw it we were steady having it even at our lowest high speed road runner keep my motor going this shoe visualization page was probably my favorite page out of all the ones on the app. I think it looked very clean, it looked very simplistic and like still good, not cheap good, but still good. So what I did, I just had the image at the top, after that we had some brief description, and then I made this little list view where you can visualize all of the sizes, and then there's a variable that's the size where you can select the size and it will highlight whatever size you have selected. It then shows the price and then you can add it to the bag. Once you press add to bag, it will take this exact selection that you've made and it will add that to a list which is later visualized in the cart. It okay, so we're sitting at about 31 minutes left and now I've made this kind of uh, again very minimalistic I guess you could call it I guess minimalistic is a good word for when you don't think it's very good you just call it minimalistic and it's good enough but it's a little bit of a preview of the shoe uh, shoe itself and then on this page we can for example let me rebuild the entire app one second on this page we can for example select the size for example say we select ten and a half and we add that to bag for example Something happened now. I need to check what that is. Ah, okay. I need to convert the integer to a, uh, the double to an integer. But you can add this to a bag, for example, and then we will now be able to display this in a cart or in a checkout page of some kind. So that's what we're gonna build now. We have around 30 minutes left, and we're gonna try to make a checkout page. So when you add shoes to your cart, that checkout page shows all the shoes which you have in your cart. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel Shorty throw that thing back in a pair of hills Yeah, and she be riding on that thing like a ferris wheel Yeah, I love them dark skin, bro Okay, the time is about to run out and now I'm have like 40 seconds left I'm trying to add one little thing here That's gonna show you uh, how much you have added to your basket But I'm not really not really getting it to look super nice because it's too far away from each other I guess I need to yeah I guess that's okay it will have to do because we are running out of time we have 21 seconds left and I think yeah I'm quite happy with it not super happy it could have been definitely could have been a lot better but you know you gotta do what you gotta do with the three hours that you have when you're on this limited time period you gotta just dash out as much as you can of course the code won't really be that clean but I think it's really good for learning because you you know you tr test a lot of different stuff but with that said time's out now boom okay that was that for the fifth I think episode of three hour builds quite an okay one let me uh, pause this all let me show you in the let me go to the simulator and show you exactly what the app looks like uh, and what I managed to do and you can leave your feedback review comments thoughts or feel free to discover and explore the code yourself and edit it however you feel because I'll be leaving it all in the description down below a github link so be sure to check that out but let's have a look at the app itself all right so here we are with the output I'm quite happy with it it could have been so much better but it could have been so much worse as well I feel like I always say that it could have been better it could have been worse real boring neutral answer but it's it looks a little bit cheap I think but at the same time uh, I really like the effect that I have with the colors and the gradients in the background of this front page for example as well as the fact that these shoes kind of w wander outside of their containers which I think makes a really nice a little special razzle dazzle effect but let's have a look so what this is essentially is just I only have three models now to begin with but what it is it's Jordan's Air Force's Dunks if you like streetwear if you like shoes you'll know exactly what these are um, Really nice shoes by the way, I think all of these, I really want to get these uh, green and white uh, Air Forces. But what it is, it's a horizontal list builder that has a container, that has a stacked widget inside of it. And within there, there's a couple of positioned widgets that place these images, for example, place the text, etc. And then it will just build that for each and every uh, single shoe that we have in a particular list. So, for example, now we have all of these uh, Jordans here. Scrolling down, we have all of these Air Forces here. I think they look pretty nice. These Dunks, I think, are my favorite because they don't really have this weird gradient going on. They have some another more mild gradient that matches the color of the shoe. So, if you take a look, it really matches really well. 
classic comfort it says. I think that looks pretty good. But then we have a basket and if you look here now the basket is empty. But we need to go to uh, check out one of the shoes. So let's check out this one for example. Okay here we have some yellow ones. Say I want to buy these ones in size 8.5. I'll select 8.5. It changes to 8.5 that's marked red. You press add to bag and there will be nice to have a simulation that says added to bag. I don't really have time to do that. Uh, so now that should be added to our bag. There we go. Pretty nice. Uh, let's also have a look at the Air Force Ones, for example. Say I want to add these, maybe nine and a half. I'll add those to the bag as well. Boom. Uh, we need a pair of dunks too. So say those are going to be ten and a half because I'm buying them for someone else, maybe. Add the bag. Boom. Going up now and checking out the checkout. We can see that we have all of these ones in the cart. So I think. Uh, and I think this should work pretty well for, for all of these shoes because it's a standard list for, for each and every one. Boom, let's have a look. Sick like that and it will even add two different Nike Air Force Ones because they're two different sizes which I thought was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for today's episode of 3 hour builds. Uh, a sneaker app we built within 3 hours, it took all of the time this time which is a little bit unusual. I think this one is slightly worse than the other episodes that I've, uh, I've made because I spent way too much time in the beginning trying to design the, the shoe pictures which I shouldn't have, that took like an hour and when you have 3 hours that's a significant amount of time. But still relatively good. If you want to try to explore this and if you want to try to see if you can change the code a little bit or if you want to uh, use any of the things that I've done in here then the link will be down below to GitHub where you can download all of the source code and use it however you want. But without further ado, that was it for this week's episode of 3 Hour Builds. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this series. If you do, then please consider subscribing or if you want to watch some of the other stuff I do such as the starting a startup series or whatever then please feel free to subscribe it's completely free of charge but it will make me very happy with that said see you in the next one peace